Okay, uh, most of my trees are bonsai, but the Chinese art, which preceded the Japanese art of bonsai, is called penjing, and it's much older. And uh, penjing seek, uh, seek to make a social or an artistic statement, and I can give you a few examples. This tree here, with these three figures in the realm of penjing, making a social statement, and I'm the artist who put this together. So the statement I attribute to this is that the age of the oldest man is but a moment in the life of a great tree. See, that's a social statement, and that's what this artistic piece is representing. Here's another one here, which is a bit overgrown, but you can see there's a, a house there, and there's a path, and there's a man walking along the path. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little fatter than the others. Yeah. Is he like a merchant? Yes. I'm not and harming this. The <laughs> social statement that I attribute to that is that in the evening, the road home is the longer road. Another little, other little tiny one. And this simply says, on the great stage of nature, man plays but an insignificant role. There's quite a lot of detail on these figures when you come close. Yeah. Here's another one here on this uh, white marble slab with the boats in the harbor. Mm -hmm. And the meaning of that, that I attribute to it, the, that I express through it, is at the end of the day, everyone needs a safe harbor. So there are the boats coming into the safe harbor. Yeah, there's a little leaf here that shouldn't be here. It gets in the way. Very beautiful. That's, so that's one of my favorite ones. That's the concept of Penjing, that it makes some sort of a, an artistic statement. Whereas, if you go to Bonsai, and here uh, happens to be a trident maple. Now it happens to be growing on a rock, just so that we can see the unusual development of the roots over the rock. It sort of shows them off because they're not underground. Yeah. Wow. All that texture. That's what Japanese are always really good at. It's like the finishing. It's about 75 years old. When I got it, there's a story behind this. There's a story behind most of my trees. I'm a friend of um, Gail, Gail Ortiz, who owns Gail's Bakery in Capitola. Oh, yeah. And she was the mayor of Capitola at one time. Well, Gail and I know each other for many years. One day she said to me, Robert, I have this boxwood in a rental of mine, and it's right in the middle of the lawn. And every time the gardener comes, he's annoyed because he has to mow around it. I would like it removed. Maybe you'd be interested in it. Well, I went and I looked, and when I saw the bottom display of roots of this tree, which was then about 60-something years old, I said, boy, that's magnificent for a bonsai. These are called nebari, which is the Japanese word for roots. And the splay of the roots demonstrate the trees hugging and grasping into the earth. And that's very desirable in bonsai, those nabari grasping into the earth. Well, the tree, of course, was about six feet tall. And I cut it down and then regrew it and shaped it into the form of a, a very mature. This is sort of in the form of an oak tree. Hmm. But it's a Japanese boxwood. And it's, I think, one of my better trees. This is another boxwood that I got somewhere else. And this is called a windswept design. And this is, uh, represents some trees. It's a Japanese design, windswept. Uh, represents trees that perhaps grow along the rocky coast of Japan or California. And the constant wind growing in one direction caused the trees to be bent and growing in a single direction. Like the Pacific Grove cypress sort of. Sure, yeah. that sort of thing. 
Anything last? And it goes on. Well, this has flowers. It's a pomegranate. And when it goes into a pot, then it'll be a bonsai because bonsai means tree in a pot. Huh. This is a plastic pot, so plastic doesn't count. Does it have such a simple meaning in Chinese too? Benjing, uh, yes, means plant in a tray.